Hello fellow mutants, welcome back to another video, and in this video we're going to talk about how close, like, this, um, Inside the Magic article is saying that close to 100% of the animated Disney film material has been either damaged and slash or lost. So let's give this a read, shall we? The Walt Disney Company is a tur turning point. Is that a turning point? Once an entertainment behemoth, things like Disney animated films and Marvel superhero blockbusters are falling short of the box office. Shipping away at the steadfast hold the House of Mouse had has had on the top pop culture canon for years. Walt's business was built on animation, but reports find that the material that gave the studio its foundation has been destroyed by none other than the animation animators themselves. Disney animated films have been around for decades and has given adults and children a plethora of adventures to be part of. From the bewitching of tale of Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs back in 1937 to the ice world of Arendelle and Frozen which was released in 2013 to the magical origin of the wishing star in, in the upcoming cinematic movie Wish, which will come out this year. Um, audiences have been whisked far and wide under the sea and above the clouds. At present, though, the cornerstone of family friendly entertainment that Disney is, has established itself as being since. Before Snow White, with the Alice comedies and Mickey Mouse in, in Steamboat Willie, was aired in 1928, is at risk. Recent flops like Strange World and the, Dis and the Disney and Pixar animation, Toy Story spin-off, Lightyear, have called into question Disney storytelling. With the latest Pixar movie, in Elemental, also proving troublesome at the box office. After 2009's The Princess and the Frogs, which marked the studio's last 2D movie, Disney animated films have transitioned into computer-generated 3D animation, which will be unique in the way that it will feature a hybrid animation style, animated style. What was once sketched out, hand-drawn on paper, is now created through computer-generated technology which means that handling and saving of saving of this final work is much easier all around. Back in the 1930s and 40s, when Disney animators used animated animation canvases to create the mo most beloved stories we know and love today, the drawing of these characters and the scenes they inhabited was a much ris riskier process. But it wouldn't be workspace accidents. But it wouldn't be workspace accidents that would cause damage to the now timeless pieces of art, but the workers themselves. Arthur Art Stevens was a producer at Walt Disney Productions and started his career at the Mouse House in Between. The process of animating in between scenes for the 1940 classic movie Fantasia, which came out in 1940. I guess it did say 1940, just brain fart because they have the parentheses of when these movies came out. Sorry about that. Anyways, before his directing work on the Disney movie, The Rescuers, which came out in 19 1977, and The Fox and the Hound, which came out in 1981, Stevens received the his first credit as a character animator for Peter Pan, which came out in 1953. The la late artist once revealed that those working on Disney animated films would toss chemists into the ground once they had finished with them, even going so far as to use the work to slide around the studio. The years of these animators destroying their own work has left a gaping hole in Disney heart, Disney's heart, over 95% of the animation 
the vintage canvases that animators threw to the ground and stood up upon stood upon has been lost and is likely and is unlikely to be restored. There has been eff efforts to restore damaged animation film cells, including a conversation movement, researching the material in which Disney animators inked their work in order to uncover the best way to repair it. It, it is easy to be frustrated with the lack of care these animators showed something that has become such an integral part of popular culture and people's lives. But at last, hindsight is a wonderful thing. Um, and I, before I continue, like, guess it seems like it's like more of the older Disney films that they kind of like toss aside with. And I don't, now that I'm trying to make excuses, but I feel like yeah, it would be great for them not to, like, throw their work out. But, like, if they knew, like, their films would be as popular as it is today, that may have, like, convinced them to, like, save their work for, like, future generations. Anyways, continuing. And speaking of Disney animated films, the copyright of the Steamboat Willie incarnation of Mickey Mouse is soon to expire. Um, January 2024 will be Steamboat Willie's um, January 2024 will see Steamboat Willie enter the public domain in the United States and while the trademark will remain with Walt Disney Company, the loss of the character from Disney's complete grasp will be a significant moment in history. Wow! So... Coming, it sounds like in like what five months because we're at the tail end of December. Uh, oh, sorry, June. It sounds like in five months or like six months, six plus five months. Like Mickey Mouse won't be an exclusive Disney thing. It will be like public domain. Wow. I've heard rumors about that. I just didn't know it was like legit and that it was going to be essentially this soon. That just blows my mind. Okay. Like. I wonder like. Because I'm a huge Kingdom Hearts fan, right? So, like, I don't only, like, wonder what will happen to Mickey once he's public domain for the Disney parks. But, like, I also wonder what will happen to Mickey in, like, the Kingdom Hearts series. Because, like, Kingdom Hearts is, like, is a combination. Well, currently it's known as a combination of Final Fantasy, original characters, and Disney characters only one practically. With, like, original storytelling. And Mickey Mouse is a king, and he's at Disney Castle. Like, the world that we see him being king at is at Disney Castle. It's like, now that he is going to not be public domain anymore, what would happen to, like, essentially, like, the whole Disney Castle world in Kingdom Hearts now? What would happen to, like, Mickey? Like, will Mickey even be a king moving forward? Will he, like, will they have Mickey resign as a king now that he's not, like, the face of it's not gonna be like just Disney like a right to Disney it's gonna be like public domain or is it just gonna be Steamboat the Steamboat really incarnation of Mickey and not the more current Mickey cause that would be like I'm like really like wow that I like out of all of this, I expect myself expect myself to like be more mad about like the people like throwing away their like chemises after the movies were released, right? Like but no, I'm like more like I'm like more fixated that Steamboat Willie is going to 
be public domain in January 2024. Wow, okay. I don't know why I'm so fixated on that, but anyways. What do you guys think about this article? Let me know in this comment section down below. I'm gonna shut the fuck up so that you guys can talk. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. Be kind, be kind to one another. I will talk to you, fellow mutants, later.